It's KO time here in Torquay at the last Elite 16 event of the Volleyball World Beach Pro Tour season. And in the white, it's the French team of Yusuf Crew and Arno Gautier that get to attack first, but unsuccessfully so. And in the black shirts, the Italian duo newly formed last week for the Torquay Challenge event, Daniele Lupo, and the man that's just killed the ball, Enrico Rossi. The attackers can't really see them. Very deliberately bumped up to the net there. The option ball hit away. Never know where it's going. It always takes you just a few points to readjust yourself. Well, no problems for the Italians deciding who to go at. They're going very definitely at Yusuf Crew. Both these teams will be looking to get it over the line in two if they can. Just to rest up ahead of today's semis. Well, there's the classiness of this French team. They've got very good ball control, but a nice bit of power. They've both got good defenders. They're all tall. They can all hit the ball. They can all shoot the ball, and they've got a solid block. And that rather dictates that we're going to get a good game here. Going to go after pretty soon, but just, just seeing what both players are doing early on. Beautiful, beautiful swing. He's a ferocious hitter. He's one of these defenders who can belt the living daylights out of the Mikasa. Really compact short arm swing that just rips through, makes it look like he can shoot the ball as well. Good touch. Well reused though off the block by Lupo. Italy a little unlucky there. And nicely done. Switching up to the wrong hand, if he's got a wrong hand that is. That's a massive tick for Lupo, even though it might look like he's on the back foot at the moment. Next end switch then, on 14 points, good heavy hit. A short serve, Rossi had to think about the option ball and didn't come up with a great set after trying to fake out the blocker. So if you're new to beach volleyball, that pause there was on 21 points, that's the technical timeout enforced by the game. The players have also got their own timeout they can use each set. And very nicely out of the timeout for France, who are at the moment rocking the mini break. Another chance then for Italy to try and level. Gautier confidently takes the middle ball, has a good look for where he wants to go, and then <laughs> hammers it. Underneath the block of crew. Pressure point. Crew plays it very well, moved wide quick and got the fast flat set to help him. Let's go for a little bit extra. Gautier takes the ball out of the middle and then very strong shoulder to turn it away from defender and blocker. We're back to a side out game though. And they go back to Lupo and Lupo crunches another one cross court. There's some serious hitting going on in this match at the moment. Gautier, one ace to his name, goes for another to the line but Lupo makes a fine pass and then comes back with the most ridiculous angle. That that angle doesn't even exist, does it, Damien? Lupo bringing the power. Beautifully done, 19 all. France then to side out and go to set point. And they do so. It's another, another very canny wrong hand shot from Yusuf Crew. And it brings set point. A little bit of risk taken on the serve, trying to push Lupo away from his comfort zone. But no, he's still hitting like an absolute dream. Work Gautier Ra, a little change up from Italy. It's a dig, and Rossi's on it. Whoa, what a play. Another chance for France, and this time put away very calmly indeed. Another set point to France. Good touch. Oh, it's a brilliant dig down the seam. And Gautier Ra turns it on. Right at the very moment it was required. 23-21, France take the first set. And blocker Enrico Rossi that took gold last week here on this very centre court. In slightly different conditions though. And certainly against different opposition playing their exes from Italy. It was a high pressure match. They've since been thumped. 21-14, 21-10. So they have been defeated. Whereas the French pair, at the moment, undefeated. Good work. Really good work on the pull. First bit of success from Rossi. What a dig from the knees by Lupo. Oh, it's brilliant. 
it's just <laughs> brilliant. And then you have to go, yes, okay, sorry. Yeah, thank you for saying sorry, you hit so hard. <laughs> yeah. It's a strange little anathema in the game. Oh, and that's it rather is. too easy. Oh, brilliant. Brilliantly done, and I do like that from Gautier Ra. Really, really like his technique. Hard to read. Good swing. Good dig. Gautier Ra is in some great positions at the moment. And a little bit of hurry-up play from Italy. Which also makes his vision and shots lethal. Yeah, great work. Really good work. Short serve, but no, no joy. Italy dealing with it well. Different serve from way, way deep behind the baseline. That was very 1970s. Oh, he's done it again. No, no, no. You're not allowed to do that on a beach volleyball court. That's brilliant from Gautier Ra. Making errors. Just France is absolutely in the zone right now. And they're trying to play very quick, France, here. They're not letting Italy settle. And again, great dig overhand in the angle. And Enrico Rossi just called it a day on that point. Mixing it with one of the best teams in the world. Long way off the tape, and that's well found. Gutierrez, again, brilliant. Just brilliant. Usually people do that if their partner's struggling to get them out of jail, but both the French players in the zone. Back to a three-point cushion for France, which they can restore. Can't move as a defender to that. Oh, it's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And you, even if you're new to beach volleyball, it's just a wonderful thing to watch. Oh, brilliant. And now Yusuf Crew comes to the party, and that might be the lead for France that gets the job done. Great timing, great block. Lupo returns the compliment. Not quite as fluid a swing, but... That's serving from a long, long way back. And that's brilliant. There we go. There's the little change up and it's worked to treat. Rossi gets himself another block on Yusuf Crew. And in terms of their elite 16 finishes, well, ninth place is the best they've managed. Brilliant. Really good. Little tiny bit of luck there from Rossi, but he finished it well. Our watchword, Damien, momentum. <laughs> it's back with Italy. Yeah, it's brilliant. It is well and truly with Italy. Carol Lampos Papadoglas giving him just enough time to do so. <laughs> nice pass. Good set. Fantastic block. Three in a row. Enrico Rossi now is on fire. To the tiebreaker. France have got to recover their composure. They've got to get back into that zone. <laughs> it's done it again and this time it's come off a bit of soccer from Rossi but Gaultier goes back to that delicious line shot delicious line play oh and then comes up with the serve he's ace Lupo with that already once today he's done it again I get the t-shirt made up straight away I <laughs> aced Lupo easy pass this time Lupo maneuvering himself around and finds a very similar angle to the last line shot from Gautier Ra so scores level once again what the French pair are made of this is going to test the character if they want to get this done in two they're going to have to go for this beautiful what a shot he's adjusted his radar again to beat the block of Rossi with everything he's got sprint over to get that chip shot well done good timing on defense from France Italy back under pressure. Lupo tries the same shot again. Gautier Ra picks it up again and then puts it down. Dream territory for France, but also a place in the semi-finals beckons. They've done it. First time they've been there all season and they were good for the win. And they beat the Italian pairing of Lupo and Rossi. Last week's gold medalists by two sets to love.
Yusuf Crew and Arno Gautier-Ra are through to the final four.